little pretty through here. You're on. I'm on. All right, awesome. <laughs> So, but keep your eyes forward. Yeah, it's a narrow road. Uh, <laughs> we are on our way to Multnomah Falls, a place I went to as a teenager, and my dad famously didn't let me go to the top of the waterfall. So he, after talking to my mom yesterday, she told me he rushed ahead, and she complained that he never walked with her. Does that sound familiar? Hmm. Where, where that rubbed off on too. Yeah, so uh, my dad was apparently also a fast walker. So my dad went ahead. We got to the bridge, my sister and I, and we looked up at the amazing waterfall and, you know, it was like, oh, that's great. If you keep going past it, I thought you just go back down around to the other side to more parking. Turns out there's a trail that goes up to the top. So we got back to the parking lot after not finding him, and my dad finally shows up. And we jump in the car and we're taking off. And he's like, man, the views from the top were great. And my sister and I are like, what? You could go to the top. So he uh, he was like, yeah, you go to the top. And so we we're like, well, let's go to the top. And he's like, no, 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 no. We got other things to do. And so he did not let us go to the top. And we were furious with him. And that has stuck with me for the rest of my life. And now we're back. And today we get to go to that waterfall. And I really want to go to the top. But... Jen just looked at it yesterday and apparently it might be closed for maintenance because the trail's like in bad shape. And if that's the case, I can only imagine my dad laughing and giggling about me not being able to make it to the top because he would have thought it was hilarious. <laughs> so I might jump the barricade or ignore the sign and get arrested to go to the top. Uh, but probably not. But probably not. I might get desperate though. I really want to go up there and I'll probably be disappointed when I go up there now that I've, you know, spent my, you know, adult life wanting to be up there. Uh, but I just, I want to get up there for my sister and I's sake. So, uh, I texted her yesterday and she was like, oh yeah, I remember. So it's not just me. And my mom was vividly remembering it as well. So, so yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Yeah, let's go check out, well, that and a bunch of other waterfalls because there's a ton of waterfalls in that area along the Columbia River. Yeah, so we're going to go check that out. But first, a very important detour. So pretty. What was the detour? The detour? <laughs> well, let's just say it's a great day at a certain place that Chick wants you to They spoiled it. I mean, we haven't been here in a while, so everybody's yeah. super excited. Like yeah. three weeks or oh, It's been longer months. than that. Three weeks. It's been like months. at least two months. Yeah, at least months. a couple of months. I need two packs of chicken minis. If you can uh -huh. give me three, that would be Kennedy, my goodness. That's over a pound. Three packs of chicken minis. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna go enjoy our Chick fil A, so. So we should put your dad aside. We're here. You recording? I'm recorded. There it is. And if you look over this way, you can see him doing construction. So we are not gonna be able to get up the trail at the top. How angry are you? Pretty sad. We'll just have to come work camp here and uh, somewhere nearby, and then you can do it then. What's looking at? Salmon. Salmon in the river right here. Yeah. Oh, why is there salmon in the river? Can someone tell me? Because it's cold and we're near the, yeah, we're near the ocean. And because um, well, they're going, they have to go up the river. And what do they do when they go up the river? Spawn. They spawn, that's right. So their natural instinct is to swim up when they feel a current, huh? Uh huh. Cool. Well, Alright, so here is the Multnomah Falls restaurant and lounge. It's really pretty. Especially with the beautiful fall colors. Yeah. See right here, everything's blocked off. So I wanted to go to the top of the waterfall 
Okay, that's where I didn't get to go last time. But I did make it to the bridge in the middle. And even that's closed off right now. So the kids don't even get to go up to that bridge. I'm fine. I don't... I, but it I is beautiful. Down here. <laughs> I don't even want to go up there. Hey, Cooper. There's a bigger pool up there. There's a bigger pool up there, yep. What, honey? Yeah? We got this orange bracelet. We cool. got a Smokey the Bear card. Wow. Yeah. A tent. Yeah? A patch. The patch is really cool. Hold on. The patch is really cool. Let's see the patch. Let's see the patch. A temporary. That's very cool. will be my third patch. Very cool. All right. Are we recording? Been recording for a while. Okay, so for uh, Multnomah Falls, we're... Go ahead and delete that. We're still here at Multnomah Falls. I have an app called AirMap on my phone, and it says we can fly our drone here. Now, if you go over to the waterfall in that parking area just across the highway, uh, it says no drone zone. So they basically don't want you flying where people are hiking and enjoying the, the view. But from back here, it says we can fly the drone. So we're gonna fly the drone up not get close, uh, any closer than we are, and then check out the river as well with the drone. So let's check it out. Just down from Multnomah Falls is the Bonneville Fish Hatchery at the Bonneville Dam and Lock. So we're about to go check out Sturgeon uh, Hatchery. So the kids have never seen Sturgeon up close. So this could be pretty cool. All right, so here we are to the Interpreter Center. <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> that <laughs> big! This is probably the prettiest fish hatchery I've ever seen. Clearly what I just said on my <laughs> that because we've been to several fish hatcheries and this is a... Oh, look at them! It looks like a tiny shark! There they are! Okay, so you can see how excited the kids are. It is absolutely beautiful here. See, everybody's super excited. <laughs> okay, stop screaming. Oh, that is a big guy. They're big. That one's way bigger than those ones up. Now, see, you can tell this one's an adult because it's got the white stripe. Yeah. Those are, those are bony, uh, like teeth like. Look at that That's Herman. He's 90 years old. And he was captured in 1998 when they built the surgeon facility, I guess, part. 
really fat trout. Yeah, they're they're living their best life. Long or 11 feet long? Something like that. Yeah, yeah see, he's yeah. way bigger than the other one. Yeah. I don't know. Now the other one's coming up, and he's looking big too. This one's longer, but that one's bigger. Okay, so one of the things I love about doing this and being on the road is that sometimes people hear us talking or they talk to us, and that's how we found out about this visitor center today because somebody was like, you got to go visit the Surgeon Center because it's right down the road from Multnomah. So um, if you're in this area, definitely stop and check it out. I love the design of this place. It's so much more than just runways of fish. It's beautiful here. I mean, there's Washington in the background, the mountains. It's the prettiest, this is seriously the prettiest uh, fish hatchery. Okay. So, now we're over here to see the salmon. Whoa! Woo! They're trying to go up the water and the water's coming out of there. Yeah, so they're trying to jump into those spots. Oh, I got that one. Look, they have plastic what? shields up top here so they can't get in. They almost made that. No way they can jump up. Someone jumping up over there. Yeah. Woo! Woo! These guys are in here because they're waiting to be sorted. Yeah, he's yeah. waiting. Yeah. Oh. Wow. wow. So you can see they've got these plastics up here because the fish have obviously made it up that high before. So they have these little barricades all the way down. And then there's big ponds behind them. And a big chute. <laughs> you guys can see their tails there. Some of them are still coming up the, this is the entryway point. This whole thing is just full of fish waiting for their turn to get where they're going to do their spawning. So I think we mentioned this in a video prior to this, but in Oregon, October is like their biggest salmon season. So if you get a chance to come see where the salmon ladders are in various places, um, even in Washington too, I highly recommend it. It is, um, it is quite cool to see them like trying to come up the ladders and getting ready to go to the different places and they're gonna end up for spawning. It's really cool. ever get boarding? Boring? They get boarding, but not boring. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> so, Alright, so here's the top of the fish ladder. No. This is the salmon ladder at the Bonneville Dam. Alright, so we're heading over to the powerhouse to see it now. Wait for that picture. Nice big smile. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so this is Powerhouse One Display Gallery. Shoot. Okay, so we just went to the Powerhouse, as you saw, and I learned something really interesting, and I didn't really realize this. So they're not spinning like crazy. They turn about 75 revolutions per minute, and with that, they will actually get salmon fish that will go through the generator, the turbines. And what he was saying, at this facility, they have a 98% um, pass-through rate here. So 98% of the fish that go through the turbines will make it back out to the other side. So I thought that was really interesting because I had no idea that the fish even go in there at all. Within my community. Preserving the environment within my community. And away from home. And away from home. This is the cool walk. I think they said it goes 60 foot up and down. Mount Hood. 
Hood Scenic Byway. That's what this is. This year, it's 34. the top we're getting there yeah we got it oh look at it you can see the skis i mean we're still thousands of feet below the top of Mount yeah Road. you can't even see the top but we're not going to the top are we it is really pretty though we're pretty much up to where we can i tell you i love the snow poles look how tall they are <laughs> those snow poles are a good 12 15 feet tall yeah as a Floridian, they like always amaze me when we see them because I'm like, oh, it gets really high here. Look how high it just goes yeah. into the clouds. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very cool. There's the lodge. This is our side. Like. <laughs> 70 guest rooms, 8 of these rooms have fireplaces and 12 have bunk beds. Did you know you cool. Stuff on? What is this? What a cool. So this is what like their rooms look like? The lot. So I know we talked about this before that our Florida kids will do anything for snow. Yeah, we're in a parking lot <laughs> at Mount Hood. Yeah. This is us, uh, the two of them having fun. Bryce is in the car because he has shorts on. So the so. kids think it's absolutely strange that there's a stranger pumping our gas right now. But in the state of Oregon, there's an old rule on the books that says you're not allowed to pump your gas until after 10 o'clock. So as I was saying, uh, it's an old rule in the books. I think that was just there to create jobs. I don't really know why you wouldn't be able to pump your own gas otherwise. If someone does know, tell us. Yeah, I'll leave a comment down below. Um, but, uh, like, he took my card, and then I gave him my zip code, and then he was just, we stopped there for a second because I had to give him a different card because that one didn't work, presumably because he put in the wrong zip code because he's not, you know, used to Florida zip codes or something. I don't know. But just a hassle. I'd rather do it myself. I mean, I guess it's nice that this guy's got a job, but he just stands around and does the thing that you could just do yourself for like two seconds like i don't know whatever it's fine uh I, it's I, just a little weird we talked about it earlier this week too that it's weird to give out your pin number or your zip code right which is your defining information to use that card in those machines so it's like i don't know it feels strange to, to be divulging that information so. and i think you've been waiting until most of the time to go after they don't like, yeah, there was another location where they stopped at 6 p.m. because they're just short-staffed or whatever. Uh, but this place goes till 10 o'clock, which I guess most of them do. So this is the second time I've had my gas pumped by somebody in Oregon. And both times had problems. Whereas if I did it myself, I wouldn't have a problem, you know? So um, our gas ga uh, cap is kind of hard to use. And so that gives people like, I don't know, it's a hassle. <laughs> Stop it, Oregon. <laughs> 